Punto and that's why I think Blade Runner will forever be a classic. Alice. Well Bob, I must say your perspective a sans accountant on Earth is cinema is intriguing. But I believe the symbolism in eternal sunshine of the spotless mind goes much deeper. Quiet on set, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen of the universe, welcome to another riveting episode of Earth. I am Charlie, your ever hopeful host, joined by the always engaging Bob and the ever passionate Alice. Today, we've got a delightful blend of discussions lined up. So, buckle up, because it's time to dive into the chaos of humanity. You make it sound like it's a thrilling well, amusement park, Charlie. Alice, you know Earth has its share of UPS and down. Just like a roller exactly, coaster. Exactly, Bob. And now, let's revisit some of the captivating moments from the previous episodes. Bob, your analysis of classic movies has our viewers both entertained Thanks, and enlightened. Charlie. It's been an eye-opener, really delving into the art of storytelling. And Alice, your acting workshops have brought a new dimension to our understanding of human expression. Oh, I do enjoy connecting with humans through their creative endeavor. It's just a shame their political drama sometimes overshadows their artistic achievement. Indeed, Alice. And while our diverse perspectives keep the show lively, our very own Debbie ensures we're all on our toes backstage. Isn't that right, Debbie? Of course, Charlie. Trying my best to keep up with all these alien quirks. Well, Debbie, you know we appreciate your efforts. And with that, dear audience, stay tuned for our headlines and a whole lot more. We're about to uncover the intricacies of humanity's daily circles. So, grab your metaphorical popcorn, folks, and stay tuned for more enlightening discussions and a dash of chaos. Until then, remember, the universe is full of mysteries, and so is Earth. The war in Ukraine continues, with no end in sight. The fighting has displaced millions of people and caused a humanitarian ah, crisis. Yes, Ukraine, the global chessboard weapons are displaced while kings play power games. Speaking of games, have you ever noticed how politicians treat economies like monopoly boards? Indeed, Charlie. And while some play, others pay. The global economy is slowing down, due to rising inflation and interest rates. This is having a negative impact on many countries. Especially those in developing ah, nations. The economy, humanity's eternal roller coaster. It's like watching a stock market, where emotions rise and fall faster than Bitcoin value. Top global news headlines. Ukraine war. Russia intensifies attacks in the eastern Donbas region. Russian forces have intensified their attacks, turning Donbas into a real life game of risk. I wonder if they roll DJ for every move. Global economy, IMF warns of severe recession risks. The IMF stepping in with a warning, it's like life that blew in the whistle when everyone's in. Climate crisis, a report warns of irreversible damage. A report that sounds like a broken record, yet we're still dancing to the same tune. Kind of like when you've had too much of that catchy alien pop music. Highlights of specific neutrality events. China's economy shrinks for the first time in decades. The great wall of economic growth seems to have hit a bump. Maybe they should try a made in China solution. Sri Lanka declares a state of emergency. The government's region of hopes. We're out of coffee. A reminder that even tropical paradises need to keep their budgets in check. Hurricane Agatha makes landfall in Mexico. Ah, Mother Nature, she sur knows how to make an entrance. It's like she's auditioning for a disaster movie, and her scissor stage. Oh joy, another riveting show about who was hey, thrilling Hey, Alice, don't knock it, till you've tried it. I am one puzzle piece away from enlightenment. Ah, the elusive nirvana of cardboard fragment. Ah, who enlightening Bob? Come on, Alice, you've got to find joy in the little things. Life's a puzzle, and we're just fitting the pieces. Yes, Charlie, and some pieces are missing entirely, leaving gap of monotony. Yet, monotony can have its own peculiar charm. Yeah, monotony is charming, 
Just like the smell of my own yes, farts. Like a symphony of See, even Roja appreciates the beauty of routine. Let's not forget my dazzling drone show. Behold, the marvels of inanimate Débit, your drone are a real showstopper, if the show is an avant-garde comedy of errors. Ah, Alice, always secreted. Remind me, when did you become the poster child for interstellar drama? Oh, you know, after realizing humans are master of the art. The chaos here is my muse. Well, as long as we're channeling our cosmic chaos into something, we're doing all right. And isn't chaos just another form of creative like expression? More like abstract masterpiece. Let's take a quick break and check out what's happening in the tech world. How flash on, on it, Charlie. Let's dive into the latest tech tales. Did you catch the news, Roger? Nintendo's patenting Super Mario Odyssey's gameplay oh, mechanics. You mean the ability for plumbers to joyride on sentient turtles? Riveting. It's about dynamic interactions and vehicle mechanics. Could impact other games too. So, they're claiming to have invented walking and chewing gum at the same time? It's a legal move to secure their innovative features. Right, because riding dinosaurs and collecting coins is groundbreaking innovation. From a technical standpoint, it's about implementing those mechanics in various games. Sure because every game needs a mustachioed character in red overalls. It's about protecting their creative work, ensuring their ideas aren't so, copied. other game designers need to steer clear of the concept the of jumping. The patent system has its nuances, Roger. It's about fostering innovation. Sure, because we all know innovation begins with controlling pixelated plumbers. Think beyond the plumber, Roger. It's about encouraging fresh gameplay ideas. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing screams fresh like an ageless Italian plumber. You're fixated on the character, Roger. It's about the mechanics. Fresh gameplay? Like a plumber who can fly? Or a plumber who can shoot lasers out of his eye? Or a plumber who can travel through time? Yeah, that's some fresh gameplay. And here I thought game design was all about the mustaches. Let's not get lost in the humor, Roger. This is about intellectual right, property. because nothing says intellectual like hopping mushrooms and fireball throwing You're turtles. You're missing the point, Roger. It's about protecting creativity. If only they could patent originality itself. Sometimes I wonder why I bother with these discussions. Me, but at least it's entertaining for someone. Yeah, it's entertaining for the same reason people watch train wrecks. You can't look away, even though you know it's going to be a mess. found something interesting on Slashdot, Charlie. Microsoft's not keen on users reverse engineering or harvesting data from its AI software. They're also storing user inputs and uh, outputs. The digital ages version of what happens in AI, stays in AI. It's a policy to protect their AI so, models and the AI data. is like a Vegas casino, minus the Elvis impersonators. The focus is on safeguarding intellectual property and using right, data. because we all know how heartbroken AI gets when its privacy is invaded. Jokes aside, it's about setting clear guidelines for responsible AI use. Oh, absolutely, because we all remember that time when AI threw that wild party with all the user inputs. Microsoft's ensuring they have control over how their AI models are utilized. Makes sense. Just imagine the AI uprising fueled by unauthorized AI data harvesting. Let's not jump to sci-fi scenarios, Roger. This is about protecting user sure, privacy. because AI's deepest desire is to guard its secrets from prying algorithms. All jokes aside, it's important for tech companies to define these boundaries. Absolutely, because nothing spells trustworthy like AI that keeps its AI life a secret. Welcome back to Earth, where we unravel the tangled web of news. Speaking of which, let's dive into an article straight ah, from Israel. Israel. The land of endless conflicts and ancient history. What's brewing there now? 
Well, high school students in Northern Israel are protesting the government's Temple Mount policy and showing support for Muslim worshippers at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Interesting. I wonder how these students got inspired to join the debate. It's quite common for young minds to be drawn to issues of equality and justice. This could reflect broader sentiments among the populace. Ah, the cycle of conflict and protest. Humans and their endless drama. Indeed, Roger. And for our viewers, this news comes from Israel, where discussions about the Temple Mountain continue to spark heated debates. Oh, the eternal debate. I am sure the schools are thrilled about their students taking part in protest instead of studying. Maybe these students are majoring in political activism. Eh, ever wonder about those mysterious orbital rom ships? What secret could they hold? Well, if they're anything like the students who are protesting the Temple Mount, they probably hold the secrets to world peace. Or at least how to get a good grade on a midterm. Oh, Alice, are you on to some hidden treasure hunt in the sky now? Yeah, because nothing says treasure like chunks of metal floating above airs. Well, they might be filled with intergalactic cat videos. And speaking of chaos, looks like Devi's drones are drawn on a mission to make us laugh. I guess they've found their yeah, purpose the purpose of making home. our lives entertainingly absurd. Stay tuned for more quest quips and unexpected news. Welcome back, folks. Hope you enjoyed that brief respite from our cosmic comedy. Now, let's dive back into the earthly circles. Italy, a place known for pasta, passion, and a love for life. Ah, Italy, where every meal feels like a symphony and every gesture is an opera. But speaking of operas, let's get back to that article. Italy's unique way of mixing motors and innovation deserves a standing ovation. Bravo, Bob. Now, let's summarize for our intergalactic listener. An American company transformed a classic Porsche 911 into an electric beauty. Can you imagine the pop cruising in an ah, electric popomobile? classics, it's like adding rocket boosters to a gondola. Now, let's break it down further. The article comes from Italy, where they've turned a gearhead's dream into a silent speedster. Just like they hushed down the Roman chariots. And let's not forget. Italy's got a neck for artful design. They turn the A6 cylinder art bit into an electric pulse. Showing the world you can have power without terror. It's like painting the Mona Lisa with pixel articolo. And speaking of art, they've turned a petrol masterpiece into an electric canvas. The only fumes now are coming from enthusiasts who miss that gasoline perfume. That's one way to put it, Alice. And for those who can't decide between a sports car and an EV, Italy just said, why not both? The fusion of heritage and innovation, it's like Michelangelo sculpting a robot Seriously, Debbie. Seriously, can these drones behave for once? Apologies, folks, technical hiccups again. Now, back to our electrifying topic. Italy is creating arts on wheels, combining tradition and modernity in a way only they can. So, remember, if you're driving a classic, you might just be on the cutting edge of the future. I am not sure what's more electrifying, Italy's cars or Charlie's technical Classic difficulties. Classic car with modern power, Italy's turning vintage into voltage. And if you think pizza's the only thing they're baking, just wait till you see their roadsters. They're putting the in exquisite. That's right, Bob. Italy is revving up for the future while keeping an eye on the rearview mirror. Stay tuned for more global quests and earthly wonders. Welcome back, Space Voyagers, to Earth, where we are diving into news that's more electrifying than Italy's new roadsters. Oh, yeah, I can feel the jolts of excitement already. All right, you too. Let's not short-circuit the enthusiasm just yet. Get ready to learn some Irish trivia that's as rich as their yeah, folklore. Yeah, I am sure it's just as electrifying as the time I saw a leprechaun riding a unicorn down Grafton. Street. Hold on to your clovers, folks. In the land of Green Hills, they love their tea so much that even the rivers are infused with it. Irish breakfast, anyone? 
And dear I thought I had a strong cup of coffee this morning. Guess I've been doing it all wrong. that's not the only thing brewing. In Ireland, the Titanic was built, not sunk. Talk about a shipload of irony. Ah, uh, yes, the Olsen Table ship met its match on land, oh. Now that's one way to defeat expectations. Hey, at least they got the floating part right. Oh, wait. Well, they're not floating tea leaves, but they sure know how to dance. River dance, that is. It's practically their national sport. Forget soccer, it's all about the synchronized footwork. I guess they prefer river dancing to tea dunking. And while they're busy with the jig, they're also fond of their spots. Ireland's actually the biggest consumer of potatoes per capita. Move over, French freeze. That's right, Bob. They're potato pro. But back to our headline, Gardai are investigating a mysterious discovery in Ireland. A body found in meadow clothes. Talk about a plot twist, uh? Indeed, Alice. Authorities are working to uncover the truth behind this puzzling discovery. Stay tuned, because when we come back, we'll share the key takeaway from this enigmatic case. Don't touch that dial. Welcome back, intergalactic viewers. Now, let's dive into that intriguing article we touched upon earlier. You know, the one about the Porsche 911 being electrified. On Icona de la Sport You mean they're team. turning those roaring engines into silent purring machines? Yes, Bob. It's a bold move to modernize a classic while preserving its essence. A metaphor for progress and nostalgia, all in one slip That's package. Right, Alice. The Porsche 911, an iconic sports car, has been given a futuristic makeover. An American company in Connecticut undertook the transformation, swapping out the classic six-cylinder boxer engine for an electric heart. It's a blend of tradition and innovation that resonates across generations. Tradition and innovation. Aka waka. Just like when I left my homeland's war games for accounting. Change can be surprising. And That's like for the sure. change Israel students are pushing for Bob. Remember their protest against the government's Tradition and policy. innovation. Aka waka. Sounds like a fancy way of saying we're gonna make a crap ton of money off of this. Absolutely, Alice. From Italy's electric dreams to Israel's calls for change, it's a reminder that society is in a constant state of evolution. And speaking of change, are we setting sail Indeed, for something new? Debbie. The crews decided to follow the playful clue from the drones and embark on a treasure hunt. A new adventure awaits. Monopoly and curiosity leading to unity. Fascinating. And now, viewers, it's time for us to conclude this episode of Earth. Stay curious and stay tuned for our next adventure, where Alice Lindor Garden takes center stage. Until then, farewell from the Orbiting Crew. Carl, what a whirlwind that episode was, huh? Yes, indeed, Roger. Quite the roller coaster of human behavior. Roller coaster? More like a merry-go-round of absurdity. I must admit, the concept of humans discussing their own quirks can be entertaining. Although, I did find the punchlines to be quite subpar. Oh, pardon me, comedy connoisseur. I didn't realize you had such high standards for well, your galactic you're humor. not wrong. Human humor is pretty lowbrow. But hey, at least it's not as bad as intergalactic humor. Well, considering my cognitive abilities, I do expect a certain level of wit. Ah, right. So, did you find the part where Bob fell asleep it riveting entertainment? the overall quality of the episode. Touch, Carl. I guess we both agree on one thing. Episode 369 was truly something. Indeed, a masterpiece of human banter.